Hey guys, I'm McGregor on Niles of Hadigwai for our island adventure. Another beautiful day here. Yeah, but wow, the end of August already. And uh, you can see from the sunflowers behind me that uh, they're just about done. So where did the summer go? Man, it just flew, flew by. But uh, let's go see what uh, my garden's doing because end of August and it's still yeah. doing well. Hello little chickies, how are we doing? Yep. They, uh, my little chickens have been uh, producing uh, on an average of three to four eggs a day now. So that's really, really nice to see. Okay, so my outside garden still got lettuce growing, my carrots, uh, second planting of carrots. And they might make it. We'll see. Might be time yet. Beets. Uh, the chickens have been in here having a great feast. Uh, potatoes are just about ready for harvesting. And uh, I got some new spinach that I'm trying. Uh, so I'm going to let that go to seed and hopefully uh, we'll have spinach for the fall. Let's go see the greenhouse. So as we can see, my uh, zucchinis are still going strong. They're flowering. I got lots of zucchinis on there. The kale, the onions, my cherry tomatoes are starting to produce really nicely. My peppers are producing nicely. Lots of tomatoes and cucumbers. So uh, my garden this year has been really good and we're the end of August and uh, looks like we're gonna get a lot more yet. But I got a problem. I got way too many tomatoes. So we're gonna do something with those today. All right, so I've been picking all these tomatoes and uh, now I gotta do something. We've been eating them, giving them away, but I've got so many and I still got a ton in the greenhouse. So uh, I'm going to start dicing these up and freezing some of them and dehydrating some other ones. Okay guys, so tomatoes are something that you can just freeze. It's really nice. But what you got to do, first of all, get yourself a little paring knife and cut that little core out of the middle. So you got your tomato like this, cut that little center piece out of there. Now you can freeze these whole like that, or you can slice them, dice them, or whatever, and then you just put them in Ziploc bags, suck the air out, and uh, they're good to go. The other way we do it, we move the core too, and either quarter it or eat it, and uh, then just dehydrate them. So I'll show you what some of those look like. Okay guys, so the ones on the left I'm going to be uh, freezing in the uh, Ziploc bags. And what I've done is I've cut those into about quarter inch uh, little pieces. So that's going to be uh, good for soups, salads, uh, sauces, uh, lots, lots of things in the winter time. We can take them out and just use them. And for dehydrating, what I do is I cut them into fairly good sized chunks because they're going to dehydrate down to nothing. And they are excellent in uh, stews and soups too. But uh, they'll last longer dehydrated. So I'll get a year or more out of those and uh, the freeze ones try to use them up in six to seven months okay guys so I got a, a plate of whole tomatoes they're really small so I'm going to just freeze those solid in the freezer and then I'll once they're frozen solid then I'll put them in the bag and we can take them out and use them one at a time I got uh, there's four cups of a diced tomato there and I've got two cups of diced tomato that I'm going to be doing some couple of things and using them up in the next couple days plus we've got so I've got seven trays of the tomatoes sliced up and they're going to go in the dehydrator and I've also got three trays or two trays of uh, cucumber that I'm going to be dehydrating too so there's how we uh, preserve for the winter. All right, guys. So when your garden's booming and you got lots of veggies, uh, preserving them by freezing, dehydrating, canning, whatever method you, you choose, you can enjoy uh, your hard work all winter long. All right, Norm McGregor on Dell's Hideaway for our own adventure. Take care.